Hello guys, welcome to another seller board demo video. Today I'm going to present you the LTV dashboard, which stands for customer lifetime value. So we all know that profit is important, but customer lifetime value may be even more important for your business, especially if uh, you're selling products that are consumable or products that customers buy on a regular basis. So imagine that you are selling a product which might not necessarily generate the profit with the first sale, but it can generate a profit with the second sale for uh, a single customer or for a third sale. Or maybe you have products that are sold in several items per order. Let's say the customer needs to buy several types of a single glass because he wants to make a set inside his kitchen. Or maybe uh, a customer returns to your business for products that are consumable like food or for instance like um, toothpaste. So all of these products can be bought more than once and a customer can generate uh, a lot of value for your business throughout his life cycle as a customer. So this is why it's important to understand what is the LTV, the lifetime value. And knowing the lifetime value for a customer, you can actually plan your customer acquisition costs, which is the budget that you can allocate to acquire a single customer. Think of advertising, for instance. Let me show you how the LTV dashboard works and how you can use it to your advantage. You can find your lifetime value dashboard in your Sellerboard account under the Profit tab in the main menu on the left of the screen. The LTV dashboard consists of three main sections. The tiles represent the accumulated sales per buyer in total sales value, in units, and in orders per buyer on an account level. Then you have a list of products that display the same information, but on a product level. And finally, you have a section in the top of the screen that gives you the option to filter out results by product, by period, and by marketplace. Let's take a look at what this information really means. So the accumulated sales per buyer in value tell you how much value in sales did a single average customer bring to your business over the last three months, six months, 12 months, or 24 months. As you can see, this value uh, is different because the situation with the recurring sales or with sales uh, in several units per a single buyer um, changed over time. So as you can see, I have the accumulated sales per buyer in value, in sales value selected right now. And this is why I have this information displayed on a product level. Let's analyze the first entry right here. So this product, which is a corrugated box, has been sold uh, in a total value of $23.37 uh, per average per a single customer over the last three months. And taking into account the fact that the price of this product is $22.99, we can conclude that this product has been sold more than once to a single customer per average. If we take a look at the same situation in the last six months, we can see that the LTV value over here is the same. So basically nothing changed. And the same applies for the last 20 months, 12, pardon. And in the last 24 months, we can see that the value was lower. That means that it increased over time. The same thing you can see in units, the average amount of products sold to a single customer over the period of last three months, six months, 12 months, and 24 months on an account level, and then have the same information on the product level right here. So we can see that for this particular jewelry box, uh, in the last three months, we've sold to a single customer on average 1.61 units of this product. So this can mean two things. Either the customer returned to buy the product again, or the customer bought more than one product on average. So additionally, we can see that over time from the last 24 months to 12 months and six months, and now currently to the last three months, this value has increased. So we are actually increasing 
uh, bulk sales of this product or maybe recurring sales. Taking into consideration the nature of the product, so I'm guessing that this potentially uh, are cases when customers buy more than a single product uh, per order. So let's analyze the last tile right here, which is the accumulated orders per buyer. We can see that uh, this value is a lot lower. So it's 1.01 orders per customer uh, for this product. And uh, it's totally explainable. So we can see that customers rarely return to make a second order for this product because obviously this is not a consumable product, which uh, leads us to a final conclusion that these numbers with the accumulated sales per buyer in units probably uh, are consisted of multiple products that are being ordered uh, in a single order. So this is the main info that the LTV dashboard can grant you, which is really helpful while planning your uh, customer acquisition costs. You can see which products can be sold in bulk, which products can be actually composed into bundles. And uh, if you have consumable products in your listings, then uh, what are the products that the customers are returning for the most often? Now you know how to really understand how much value a single average customer brings to your business throughout his life cycle. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments or reach out to us via the chat inside Sellerboard or via email. See you in the next video. Bye.